Hello, hello. Thank you for watching my channel. I am the Divine Maverick, and we're doing a little late night read. It's like my old school throwback, darker, you know, uh, oh, look at the clock. Look at the clock confirming. Yeah, this is some really good energy. So I have not been able to go to sleep because I took a long nap today. Um, but I also feel a burden to give messages. So I said that in the last video because I'm up for for a few more moments, I guess. And because I feel I've gotten one message out and I'm going to get the second message out. And then I believe I'll be able to go to sleep. But I was not able to lay my head down and rest because I have to. So I have something to say. The card is already ready to talk. Using the yogic path, going to read directly from the book. The card did come out in reverse. Let me make sure the deck is not in reverse. Okay, the deck is in reverse, but uh, maybe we'll just read both sides. But this is uh, Vadhaya. I, I'm sure I ruined that. But let me just let me let me let you look at the card. S V A D H A Y A. About higher that that I'm close. I know I'm close. I hope somebody correct me or put it down there phonetically for all of us. But uh, this is found on page eight nine. So you might be seeing eights or nines or even seventeen. Or seventeen is a birthday or some sort of significant number for your life. But this is a message um, for you that are dealing with a divine masculine and you're in a connection or something something significantly impacting your heart but this is about self study okay it came out in reverse so let's let's read it uh like we saw it okay but it says who are you it may sound like an abrupt question but it's one you should be asking yourself every day when we don't ask ourselves who we are we take on versions of ourselves that other people other people other people sized us for. In truth, you are not your personality. This is a temporary and ever-changing facade you use to interact with the outside world. This is the time to go deeper into the very nature of the self. This self is beyond personality quizzes or even doshas. This self is the infinite soul, one that exists across experiences, bodies, personalities, and even lifetimes. Regain touch with this deep-seated self by doing things that make you forget who you are. What? Regain touch with this deep-seated self by doing things that make you forget who you are. Mm. Meditate, dance, chant mantras, spend time immersed in nature, move past the mind. You will notice your personality quickly shifts and anchors into your truth when you're reunited with your soul. So, I can tell you already, we'll leave that. We'll leave that. We'll go with that. Because who are you? This is about a time of self-study. I can tell you right now, the relationship that you're in is helping you go within even more. It's helping you discover who you really are at a greater level. It says... Do things that make you forget who you are. Your personality is temporary. It's temporal. That means it's not really who you are. It's it's something that you wear, like like clothing. It's something that you've put on in this lifetime. Okay, and not saying that you that you got to get rid of your personality, but there is a message here that there is something greater to you than maybe you have even seen or discovered about your own self. So. What I'm going to do is I have the Lightseer's Tarot deck and the Island Time Wellness card. Y'all know I have two decks, pink and black. The pink is always my, my rose pink is divine masculine, divine masculine. Wow, divine feminine. It must be time to go to bed. And then that's <laughs> a message for somebody. Yes, it is. No, but then it's also the black deck for the divine masculine. But I have the, the deck separated with major arcana. So I'm going to pull a major arcana for divine masculine on my left. I want to pull a major arcana for... Okay, thank you. You just told me to switch that. Excuse me. Divine Masculine on my right. Forgive me. Divine Feminine on my left. And of course, the card is, who are you? Who, who are you really? This is about introspection and self-study. Divine Feminine. First of all, we're going to get three major arcanas. We're going to get one for whatever this is that's that's happening between you and this person. And, uh, 
And we're going to get a card for both of you individually. Okay, Spirit, thank you. Make that plain for me. What's the thank you? The Magician. Well, it looks good. Or does it? You can do whatever you want, but it's up to you to change the way you look at things. Some there, There's somebody here that needs to shift their perspective, the way you think about something. The way you look at a thing is holding you back from manifesting what you truly desire. The way you perceive something, a situation, and this situation, I know you can do something about it. I know you can. You can do something about the situation, but it's all going to take a change in your perception. Uh, that light is really... Because I want to... Oh, I don't know you guys. Oh, anyway, we're just going to leave it like that. But anyway, that's probably meant to be like that. So that's what's going on. These wanted to come out together, so I couldn't I couldn't uh, ignore that. But yeah, there is... Um, there's a lot of chemistry here there is a lot of i just heard alpha male but there's a lot of uh, masculine energy here like a lot of go-getter energy here but there's also some inflexibility that i'm picking up there's also somebody that can probably be stubborn maybe on both sides there's also a need to 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 uh, to empathize to try to see each other's viewpoint or side or whatever each other is dealing with but there is with the magician there I am I know that there is a lot that has been done in a good way within this connection and, and a lot still to be done it's this this there's more to come here um what am I hearing coming attractions okay so uh right now spirit is saying get to know yourself if you get to know yourself then it'll probably be easier for you to uh switch up because you see how flexible she looks look how she's bending you know it's and it's interesting um i was reading today about when you see a uh a, a snake with his tail in his mouth or or eating his tail that indicates <clears throat> there's that throat chakra again the end of a cycle and so look if you look at her it's almost like she's like she's touching um like that it looks like she's in a circle i don't know why I i'm feeling that and now i'm even seeing the triangle but anyway it's like there there is there is a a way of seeing things that needs to really come to an end for for this connection to do to be what it is supposed to be and i feel that spirit is saying to you divine feminine uh this is this is your time not to so much try to manifest this connection which because it's already been manifested we'll talk about that later or I, if the cards say the same but um because i feel that this is this is already a done deal um what what is happening with you is spirit wants to really take you on a journey to self you know and i you know if i were you i would go <laughs> i would just do that i would just surrender the spirit and and leave everything else um up to up to uh you know my guides, because you, you're 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 protected. I feel it, feel it very strongly. You be dealing with Pisces or Gemini, maybe even an Aries. Okay, Divine Feminine needs a card, please. For uh, what's going on? That, that soul journey. What's happening? Thank you. Two want to come out. We'll take that one. On the bottom. Yep. You got to be strong and go within. See, there's two sides of you. There's a lion and a lamb that wants to come out. You might be. Uh, embarrassed or shamed about your rage or your anger or your your very very sh your strong side. Maybe you're even trying to find a balance because you can look at this woman. You know, there's a lamb here and there's a lion here. Okay, so there's there's both sides and then there's an the infinity symbol, which is sporiache tlokoniachiana. Funny because it looks like the number eight. It's really, it's really just giving me strong eight vibes, which is the number of this card. You could be uh, a Leo actually, or even be born in August. But um, you know, there, there's probably a lot of you know past hurts, bruises, bumps and bruises on your sleeve um, because maybe you wear your heart on your sleeve. Um, she has her heart, this uh, red heart around her neck, but it, and it's making me think that um, you know. Maybe you're even guarding your heart right now, having feeling the need to have to protect your heart. But there's a little lamb here, but there's also a very 
strong, ferocious warrior lion inside of you. And um, you have to you have to be courageous and and trust that if you let go, <laughs> if you just if you just let go and allow allow the alchemy. I was gonna say let that, that this alchemy ain't alchemy. There's alchemy to alchemize, and I think that um, spirit would spirit would agree with you uh, that this is this is something worth. <clears throat> the weight, the hassle, the trouble, the the whatever. It's it's worth it. Okay, getting a strong, especially with the magician here. Let's see. So you got to be strong. You want maybe you want to give up. Maybe you've been confused. That fell in my lap. Divine masculine. Okay, so divine masculine is just again. Both of y'all are being guided with the message. Go within. Go within. Go within. We started with that one. So he. Uh, May not be speaking right now, but definitely being guided to connect to spirit. Cause, so that's what it is. It's like it's not really about a big energy of you guys connecting to each other, even though there, you know there's no distance in the spirit. You're not separated. You know, physically you might be apart, but by spirit you've been connected forever. But I, but I digress. In the 3D, you may be guided to, you know, be strong and courageous and persevere and endure. And your divine masculine is guided to please connect to spirit because you're going to need spirit to help shift <clears throat> your your perspective, help change, help help unblock you or unstick you, help you um, set boundaries if you need to. You know, because there with the strength card, there might be even some boundary setting that that needs to happen. You know, um, you're making sacrifices. Um, it, and it's not benefiting you, but you might be sacrificing too much for other people, you know. So, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a message for somebody. Ooh, another card fell on the floor. I don't know why these cards fall on the floor. Who's 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 mad? Okay, fine, feminine. You're coming up is not showing your true feelings. So there's something that you probably need to say, but you're not saying it. And that, you know, because I don't know what happened in the past, but Spirit is saying we're not there anymore. Hangman is letting me know that there is a shift in perspective, a shift in in cognition, the way you think and see something that needs to change, okay? Um, not showing your true feelings, hiding, hiding, pretending, Pretending another card for divine feminine. Let's see what you what's going on over here. Divine feminine. We'll talk about divine masculine. Well, okay. You need boundaries. That's why you gotta be strong. Mm-hmm. Spirit is definitely trying to break a pattern. Who are you? Yeah, because you're hurting. Because you're hurting and you've been hurt, divine feminine. There might been have been some deception, some heartbreak, some pain. You know, in the past, but your but spirit is saying, put your be strong and set your boundaries and trust the alchemy. I keep hearing that. Trust the alchemy. You can create your life. You can create the life you want. You can have the partner you want. You can have the relationship that you want. You can have the life that you want. But you first have to go within and lose all that other stuff that made you who you think you are and do something entirely different like chant, dance, meditate, sing, walk, and spend some time in nature. Re regain your sense of self. Regain your sense of self so you can take this mask off. Because you're not showing your true feelings. Because something here needs to shift. It could be the fact that your divine masculine is a, a riddle wrapped in a mystery surrounded by an enigma inside of a puzzle and a jigsaw. I don't know. Bottom of the deck for you, divine feminine, is getting free from a, a toxic uh, relationship or addiction. Getting free from... Uh, Toxic thoughts, negative thinking, low vibrational um, uh, energies that pull you pull you away from 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 center is what I'll say from center. Okay, but you're uh, in need of healing from heartbreak, or maybe you're doing it right now. This woman is knitting her heart. I said earlier that divine feminine, you might have been uh, 
you know, I'm hearing guilty, you know, wearing your heart on your sleeve and having to always pick up the pieces afterwards. And so maybe there's a pattern here that needs to be broken right now of you hiding your true feelings because you don't want to rock the boat. But uh, baby, I think this boat's going to have to be rocked. It's going to get rocked. But first, you know, go within and then you'll get the courage and, and, and the strength with your, you know, that major arcana you're pulling to do it because... Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll hold that comment. I'll hold that for a second. Let's see the hermit. Ooh, it's flipping out. Just what we thought. Not talking. No, I don't want to talk. Avoiding a conversation. Avoiding a phone call. You know, not talking, not making contact, not, not, not wanting to reach out. Also, boundaries. Both So both of you guys have messages of boundaries. They might have to have boundaries with somebody else in their environment. I don't know. Oh, well, there it is. The snake just came out for the divine masculine. There is a, there's a person here, a, a, a wife, a girlfriend, or something, a job. There's something that is competing with their attention. There's something that's competing with you or this connection, divine feminine. This connection. It actually is a, I'm hearing direction. The direction this divine masculine third car for divine masculine please needs to go yeah they need they they are being guided to go within this came out in reverse but it's cupid's arrow it's a card about somebody you know surprising you with a you know asking you out or or wanting to meet you somewhere um but the hesitation card, the hesitation message is here too. So I'll take that. If if there's a need for you guys to talk, let's look at the bottom of the deck and see what we get. Yeah, there's something going on here. Didn't you get that one too? Yep. I'm sorry. My dog trying to snore when I, when I uh, do readings. It lets me know I'm talking real good. When she falls asleep and snores that loud, that means I'm in there. <laughs> but you guys both have the same... Um, card girl with a snake girl with a snake and so this divine masculine could be dealing with somebody that's trying to you know that's kind of manipulative and can just be you know maybe maybe even suffocating because there's a snake wrapped around this woman's body but um uh and it could be even somebody that has an addiction or an, an addictive personality or, or something about them that, that is addictive and and it is just it feels like it's skewed this masculine's perception of what love is or what love could be, but they they are this divine masculine is is in need or being guided to reach out and say, hey, I love you, call you, and maybe the hesitation is over because they have been purposely not dealing, not dealing with something. They're avoiding something here. Um, this snake, this snake energy, and and I don't mean healing energy. I mean exactly what I'm saying. Uh, it could it could be you know somebody with narcissistic tendencies in their environment or the card says empath and narcissist paradigm. So, um, you probably feel like that's you guys. Like I, I feel deeply and they just, you know, they're just so callous. So, you know, see where the energy lies for you. But I'm, I'm saying I, I'm not counting this, this out the bottom of the deck for the masculine now. Oh, it still is the girl with the snake. I didn't move it. So Yeah. What else do I want to say about this? What else do I need to see? Okay. Shining with the snoring for Divine Masculine on the Hermit. Let's get some minor arcana on the Hermit energy. Why is the Divine Masculine being guided to go within besides the obvious? <laughs> is this going within or is this just being difficult? Judgment. Yeah. Decide. Make a decision already. Divine Masculine has got the decisions to make. If you want to help the Divine Masculine out, the best thing you can pray is wisdom and clarity to make the right decisions. Wisdom and clarity to make the right decisions. That's your prayer for this Divine Masculine. Give me one more, please. Judgment card. Trying to trying to change it. Yeah, there it is. Wisdom and clarity to make the right decisions. Follow their heart. Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or any fire sign, or Virgo, of course. But, um... You could be dealing with that, that those energies, but or that those yeah, those energies. But Ace of Cups is a card about fulfillment and doing something that you actually love and not something that you are required or obligated to do. Okay. And and 
again, I said some, this divine master was dealing with a snake that had kind of skewed their image or their perception of love with the hangman. And so they've probably been real slow and they've probably been, you know, switching up on you a little bit with the magician card, like in and out. And maybe that's why you're, you're being guided to just heal from the heartbreak, um, speak up, maybe even, you might even be guided to speak up. Let's see your strength card. Let's clarify. Maybe you're being guided to speak up. Say what you got to say. What what do you have to lose? <laughs> what, what do you have now? Right? King of Swords. Look at that. Speak up. King of Swords. Use your head, darling. Not your heart so much. You wear your heart on your sleeve. She's got a heart around her neck. And this lady's sewing a heart. You see that? She's sewing a heart back together. Mending her broken heart. Heartbreak, pain, separation, shocking attack, all that because you're you're exposed and spirit is saying, no, no, boundaries, king of swords, get that sword out, be analytical, use that wisdom, you hear the messages from spirit, okay? This man is up in the mountains, hair blowing in the wind, he's got a sword ready, looks like a dagger actually, but just kind of just like, you know what? It is what it is, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is about you speaking up and saying, no, I will not do this, I will not tolerate this, boom, page of swords, oh my gosh. Definitely. Speak up. Speak up. Say what you got to say. You know, I see things differently. I want I want I'm, I'm thinking about this differently. This is definitely a different approach, a different approach. And Page of Swords could be just a just a conver just a, just a conversation, the beginnings of communication. And clearly it's needed because there's a love call here. Y'all need to talk. You do. You do. But I don't know why I'm hearing that, but nine of wands <laughs> when you're ready. <laughs> it's been a long haul. It's been a long journey. You need to talk, though. You need to talk. We need to you need to talk about what's next. But I don't want to say anything else. No. Well, one more for divine mask. Two of swords. Ugh. make a decision. Please. Two of swords. There's something that your divine masculine is is um, refusing to see. Kind of refusing to see. This is blocking that, yeah. And that's why he's so we're right back to the four of swords. That's why divine masculine is being guided, just to go relax, restore, renew. Hermit and Four of Swords, that's literally solitude. In my solitude. That's literally get somewhere and sit down and think about what you what you want. Ace of Cups. All right. All is not lost, but seriously, advice, guidance is both sides need to go within. Both sides are taking time. It's this is this is a timeout right now. This is simple, a, a quick timeout. We got a quick timeout till we get some um some more understanding. What we need is a little more understanding. And with that understanding is going to come the ability to manifest because you see things differently. Right now, there might even be a measure of healing that is taking place, right? Right, healing from the heartbreak of maybe not even having to do with this masculine, but some stuff from your past divine feminine, you know, from wearing your heart in your sleeve. Nine of wands, you ready, you know, this lady, look at this woman. She's like, try it. Try it, you know what I mean? So, you know, got to take all that into consideration. But again, still, all is not lost. All is not lost. Let's see what your guy, your guardian angels for your guys. Woo! Two wanted to flip out. These cards are popping like popcorn. Gratitude and healing. Can we make it any plainer? Crown chakra. You know what you need to do. This is logic over, uh, over getting too emotional. And it's also... Um, Passionately, passionately pursuing something other than things that make you feel bad. You know, it's about, you know, being strong and being thankful. So gratitude says, thank you. This is a heartfelt thanks to from someone, uh, heartfelt thanks to you from someone you recently helped in some way. I, your guardian angel, also wish to thank you for the unconditional love that you emanate to the earth, humanity, and those around you. So your divine masculine in this healing and this solitude time is thanking you. 
because I'm sure this is you've helped by being strong, setting boundaries. And maybe that's another message that that's what you're you've been doing. And that's what you're you've done. You've gone within and you've been standing your ground. You've been you've been enduring. OK, you have been doing. So anyway, it says thank you from your even your guardian angels. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are eternally blessed. And may peace, grace, and love forever guide you along your sacred path. So your guides are thanking you for the work that you're putting in by healing from this heartbreak. All right. There's some of you. And also <clears throat> understand that you are eternally blessed and be and and show gratitude. Actually be grateful for you know what's happening in your life. Um and be grateful for it all. It's uh, gratitude is literally uh, an energy that that um, goals. You know what I mean? Goals, gratitude. <clears throat> Just be happy about it. Yeah, this de there's definitely a conversation that needs to happen with this with this game because my throat is like okay. So healing. It says, listen to your heart. Love is the greatest healer. It has the capacity to balance. <clears throat> and heal your emotions, your thoughts, and your perceptions, which in turn will heal you physically. Your angels are here with you and will help dissolve your fears. Trust in the power of love to guide you, and your life will magically transform. This card is confirmation that healing is occurring. Y'all both have healing cards right now. Wow. And look what just fell off. I don't know what... Yeah. Look what just fell off with divine masculine, heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Yeah, it's about, it's about, um, if you've been sending good energy this way, you're being thanked. And even divine feminine, I'm getting a message that, um, uh, if you have still been giving in spite of, you know, not showing your true feelings, maybe you've been tired, maybe you've been um, in need of putting boundaries in place, but been helping folks, maybe somebody that, that, that has been recently separated or something like that, but somebody you helped in some way, they're, they're thanking you. They're, your, your, your labor is not in vain. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. All right? Both of you are master manifestors, major um, manifestors um, with the magician there. It's just there's, um, we got two strong wills and <laughs> and there just needs to be a conversation eventually. Eventually, but healing is occurring right now. That's what the message is. Healing is occurring right now. So continue to get to know yourself. Continue to seek, seek within, connect with yourself and your and the higher source. OK, I'll leave it right there. That's good. That's good. Guys, thank you so much for uh, taking time out to listen to the message. I hope you heard something that you can use. Something that you can apply. Until we meet again, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.